Glory to Jesus. I usually don't do videos like this, but today we're going to. I want to introduce you to Granny Francis. Dear Sister Francis was a God-fearing woman. And please stay with me. Um, at the end of this, or towards the end of this video, we're going to show you what being a Christian is really about and how Dear Francis um, preached and witnessed to the lost. Amen. Uh, Granny Francis was a woman that I met up in a fellowship in Tennessee that I belonged to while I was up there for a year. And even when I left and came back to Florida, 800 miles away, I run a small ministry over in Kenya and Bangladesh. Do you know she wrote a check? She never missed a month every single month. You know, a lot of us that are um, uh, into giving and all that, maybe we give our credit card number and it gets taken out every month. And that's great too, but she never forgot one month. In, in, in uh, over two years, I believe it was, never forgot the same day, wrote out that check and sent it to me. And uh, I pass along 100% to the mission fields of Kenya and Bangladesh. And you're going to see here the recipients of that. Now, they didn't know Granny Francis until last week when the news of her death came and I passed it on to them. You know, um, I usually don't tell anybody who donates to our ministry unless I'm either moved to or they ask me to, but that's very rare. So we never let them know who Granny Francis was. So please note that uh, I didn't solicit this um, what they did in the church there in the local fellowship you can see they're passing out tracks to the woman and I'll show you a video in a minute that was put together by a dear brother that shows how a Christian should be witnessing to the lost amen so you can see all she she touched from 10,000 miles away hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of precious souls in the name of Jesus Christ and this is so important. You know, the Bible says that if we take care of our own, what thanks do we have? Any, anybody can take care of their own family. Now, it's very important that we take care of our family when that calling is there. If you're a mother or father, or God forbid, if your mother and father get sick when they're older and you need to take care of them, sure. But let's look at Luke 6, 32 and 33. It says, if you love them which love you back, what thanks do you have? For sinners also love those that love them. And verse 32 says, And if you do good to them which do good to you, what thanks do you have? For sinners also even do the same. Now, if anybody's out there saying, Well, I'm a sinner, and I'm with Jesus. No, you can't be a sinner and be with Jesus. Amen? And Granny Francis knew that, and you're going to see that in about one minute when she, uh, we show you her passing out tracts and being a witness for Christ and what she says about this person, how she had a gospel tract with some of the sins that will get you to hell are listed. Any sin will get you to hell, but this tract had certain sins listed on it. And how you have to repent and go and sin no more. Make no mistake about it. If you're a sinner, you need to repent from your sins. Amen? Live holy and perfect and just for Jesus. And if you endure till the end, as Granny Francis did, then you'll be saved. So you can see here, all the women in honor of Granny Francis went out and they passed out gospel tracts on this day to honor this beautiful sister that went to see the Lord just last week. So we thank all of you for watching. And what you're going to see now is dear sister Frances some years ago when she was able to get out more often before she got sick, um, uh, passing out gospel tracts and just loving Jesus Christ. And I just plead with you all out there to look at these pictures and look at what a true Christian is. It's not being silent. It's getting out there in the name of Jesus and in every opportunity tell people that they must repent from their sins and not live in their sins because the blood of Jesus does not cover sinners. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you for joining me. To Jesus be all the glory. Amen. Hey friends and preachers. Many of you have been introduced to a very special bold witness via our YouTube channel here named Sister Francis aka Granny Francis. In this clip, you'll see that she tries to bring some conviction to a concert goer who decided to put his wickedness on display by burning a gospel track. But, as it happens, he was apparently convicted by this surprise Granny Francis rebuke, which led him to stop burning the track. However, the camera didn't capture the audio or the end of the encounter, so I thought you might like to hear this. 
you saw him burning that tract and and what did you say to him i walked up to him and i said what are you doing do you know what you're doing you are burning the word of god this is the word of god and uh it's uh the sins it names the sins off and you must repent and sin no more so he was standing there and he pointed at idolaters or something and i said yep that's a sin yeah. and you must repent and do it no more and he pointed at another one and another one but i think it got the point across to him the sins and you repent yeah. and you sin no more Amen. but then his buddy walks up to him and he asked me about dinosaurs yeah. I, I don't know a thing about dinosaurs but if you want to talk about jesus now we'll talk about jesus all right but uh i think i really got to him but his buddy pulled him away and i so, just felt so sorry well i, I was just really <laughs> blessed when i found that you actually kept that track so yeah. <laughs> There's that half burn track, and I you're remember. keeping that as a as a reminder to what? Pray. Amen. Pray for him. I don't want to forget him. <laughs> Praise God. You're a blessing, sister. So join us in praying for that sinner Amen. that he will repent and obey the gospel. Amen. 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 Jesus' name.